Welcome back to Star Sector, folks. We just bought a new ship, an uh, EOS uh, carrier, EOS class carrier, and we need to fit that out. However, here at uh, Hypocil Ilkubres, uh, there's really nothing uh, to put on it. So we will head up to Kulan and take a quick look, even though I doubt that they have anything that we want to put on it. Uh, let's see, small energy, lacerator beam. No, it's too short range. We want this to be long range. In synergy. Uh, nah. Yeah, maybe a hammer pod. I'll buy it. We can already store it up if we want. We can always store it up if we want. Uh, there's nothing really here that we need to put on right now. Can put on dedicated targeting core. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, so I think we'll head up to uh, Sagan on the way back to Nim and see if we can't uh, find some weapons on the way. Uh, we do not want to head into the sun. How far away is this? Uh, far away. Let's transverse jump. Right, monthly expenses of 10,000. I really don't like that. Whoa. Who is this? A lot of church. Grand invasion fleet. That is definitely not something we want to mess with. Uh, well, we can start hill at Ilm and take a look. Uh, Refit, anti-matter blaster, 400 range, no. Nope. Uh, nah. Ion pulser now, too low short range, graviton beam. That might actually be interesting. I think I'll buy one of those. We just have the hammer pod in our cargo holds now, which is fine. All right, uh, let's take a look at uh, this. Diablo Avionics, 7,000, 3,000 credits is not bad, but. Uh, forward operation base is in the 86 RN star system. Is that anywhere near the way that we're going? I kind of doubt it. No, it's the exact opposite. So we'll leave here. And we want to head to Yasad. Okay, I guess we can't. Oh, we can. No, that's in our cargo hold. So they like us so little that we can't do anything with them. So let's head to Parasol Station and take a look. I thought we needed to be at minus 50 in order to not be able to do anything, any trading or anything, but I guess not. I like plasma driver. So the mini blaster we could use, but 
It's really not that great. We need longer range weapons. Uh, I can't hire at the moment, but... Okay. Alright, nothing here. Let's just back, head back to Nim then. Uh, we could take a look at ASP Syndicate. They are suspicious, but that... That can't be so bad that we can't... Or the... Or A... Welcoming. You know what, let's just head to the ORA in uh, Deep Six here. It looks like there's two systems here, but it seems like it's only one. Where's Deep Six? Oh, we're laying a course for there. I think it's Chindi that we want to go to. Because that's military, so I'm guessing that that would have more weapons and stuff. Um, refit. Iron cannon. Tactical laser. Now, that's what I'm talking about. It's not the greatest damage in the world, but it's some. So, tech laser's there. What do we have here? Little Hornet launcher. Mm. No hammer pods, lever rocket launcher. Mm. Mm. Nah. Too long, too short range. Now, I think I'll actually buy all these tactical lasers. I want... I want P... I want a tactical laser here as well, and then I want PD for these three. Some kind of PD laser. Let's have a look at fighter bays. What do they have? Trident torpedo bomber. Multi roll fighter. Broadswords aren't bad. They're not great, but they're not bad. Wasps. Hmm. I can take one of you. Take two of you. That takes us up to a hundred and one. I would like to have that. That leaves us with five for three point defense weapons or something. Flare gun. buy these here have more okay. 
black market. Seven available from black market. Crew cargo. Tactical lasers. Uh, flat cannons. Monogram rail guns might be nice, but fervor LPCs. Well, that's the multi roll fighter. I think this is probably too much. Uh, tactical laser, tactical laser. Graviton beam is okay, I think. I definitely want PD lasers here and here, I think, and then something else here. So we cannot do two of these. Let's do a wasp. That gives us 20 extra. Uh, here we'll do a tactical laser as well. And then we want PD lasers. Which I think we have at home. But while we're here... Let's just see what they have. Nothing that we really want. It has a demod. I don't want to buy demodded chips, really. Nah. As well, head to a mail on the way. Let's see, Let's just see what that has to offer. Abandoned conditioning station. Okay, nothing, but I want to quickly see Okay, so this could be a place that we could store stuff as well In here in Valis, which is much closer to home than Corvus So I'm thinking that we want to store our stuff here no, excuse me. Two hundred heavy machinery required at Janus. Hmm. Which we're at. We have two hundred heavy machinery, I'm pretty sure. Two hundred heavy machinery for sixty thousand. That would be so two hundred for twenty thousand. That's like three hundred per, isn't it? 
So 10 for 300 would be 6,000, which means 100 would be 60,000, 200 would be 120, so it's 150. No, 100, 10 for 300 would, would be 3,000. 100 for 300 would be 30,000, 200. So that's 300 per heavy machinery. Mm, and we have 200 heavy machinery. And the base value is 150 per unit, so we could just go buy it somewhere else and have made a tidy profit. I think we'll do it. Where is this uh, procurement? Uh, trade. Machinery. Okay. So we can buy these eighty five, and we can buy them on the black market. Well, forty on the black market. 85 on the open then we're almost back and we haven't spent that much on it so and this is enough for a lot of what, what we want to do so that was a tidy profit that was a tidy profit let's try refitting here the RPD laser hmm I think I'll take those. And we'll give you this. Yeah. I think that's reasonable. Let's have a look. Do they have any ships that we want to buy? Not really. The airy star system, 11 light years away. It's only 50,000. So, we'll head up to Nim and see what uh, how far away is this? Not too far. Well, it is quite far. We'll be fine. We're at 18 speed, so maybe we need to take a look at what ships are a little bit sh slow. And see what we can do about that. Take a look at Telos first. Twelve thousand. Um, three, five. Nothing there. We just got a new carrier. What I really want is another cruiser. down there. Going the wrong way. Mm. 
Okay, what do you, have we got here? A Dread Eagle. One large energy, one medium energy, two small missile, two small synergy, two medium hybrid, four small energy. I think that's what we're getting. That's what we're getting. Buy that. Refit. Start from the front and move, make our way back. Uh, we have five tack lasers. Punisher torpedo rack. Rocket launchers. Hmm. We could make it a rocket ship because we have synergy there where we can put rockets. We have rocket hard points there. Large energy. It's medium. Don't think I have a large energy. No. Range 500, range 700 for the plasma driver. Put that in there for now. Put tack lasers in there. We'll do what's this medium hybrid? Three hundred damage a second. It shields mainly. This is and these are anti armor. So I want some shield stuff. Uh, arbalests could be ar arbalests. Seal up rail repeater. Down to second two hundred and forty. Santa Shield. We'll do those. Small energy, we want definitely PD lasers, right? We're at 1406, so I think it would be good to have these as rockets. Harvest a class torpedo rack. So we could put a couple of those on. And then maybe the annihilator rocket rack doesn't cost anything. That's a bit weird. Why does it cost zero? Zero ordnance points. Hmm. That's very, very strange, very strange. Hmm. 
Punisher torpedo rack. Let's try those. Attack lasers are actually a little bit too long range. You see, this tri beam might be better. Yeah, because that's 700, these are 700, and these are 800, which is close enough. Ambush spec. The Dread Eagle's flux core has been optimized for ambush operations, oper operating a specialized integrated null space shunt to boast enhanced flux capacity at the cost of reduced dissipation. To make up for the reduced dissipation, the integrated shunt utilizes null space counterfaced to boost active vent rate by 50%. Okay. Uh, I want the dedicated targeting core on here. That leaves us with a lot of ordnance points. Leaves us with four ordnance points. Who mm. did expanded missile racks? Yeah. Right, let's have a look at our fleet. This comes up here. Uh, oh, we need to... Um, weapon groups. Auto. Some plasma driver. And those. So why would we not put these Lucidus tribe beams on the same as that and then put both the plasma drivers on the same it's the Lucidus tribe beam and the Sealot rail repeater are both anti-shield well this lucidus is both those are anti-shield those fair enough that those are on different ones the plasma drivers might as well be on the same one and then our two pd lasers Okay. Now, do I want to fly that or do I want to stay in this? Because I kind of like this. Right, let's let's try this one. We'll try out a few different ships to see uh, what we want to fly. And then here, you do have missile specialization. We'll, we'll take that for now. Does this have... It does have some missiles. Okay. Then uh, Jakob can come up in that one. This in front here. Actually, I think we'll move it up here. Okay. Very nice. Let's repair our ships. Um, I think we'll pick all this stuff up and put it down there in, uh, in storage where we don't have to pay for it.
Um, I... There's no fuel here. Let's buy 400 supplies. Why is there no fuel? I really don't want to buy anything from the black market. At Sylphen R&D because they are our buddies. But we can take a look up at Talos and see if they have some fuel. It doesn't really matter that much. We have enough for where we're going. They do have fuel. Let's buy that. That takes us down to not that much money again. Uh, well, 83,000. But we should be okay, kinda. Let's head down to Valis. I want to head to this. Just hope that we don't suddenly become unfriendly with everyone in that sector. And next time we will, uh, I think we'll try and find some bounties that we can do. We are way better off now. We're, well, in every way imaginable, really except money but we have way more powerful fleet and and that is fantastic so i think we can safely go fight uh, some uh, some different stuff i have no idea what that means right now but okay so next time bounty time or exploration time we need to find a system for our colonies our uh, first colony system we need to find so that might be an idea to do that while we do some bounties so thank you very much for watching guys i hope you enjoyed it if you did why not leave a like and subscribe and i'll see you next time